Hey guys, welcome back to Victoria 3. And today, um, I'm going to be playing with a mod that makes every single um, state in the whole entire game an actual country. There, obviously with this, there's so many options to pick from. You know, I don't, I don't know, like, uh, playing as Eastern Thrace and forming Turkey, you know, or forming India or forming China. But today... But today, I actually think I'm going to play as everyone's favorite country, um, Bosnia, here. I don't know if they can form Yugoslavia. They should be able to. They can't, for whatever reason, I don't know why. Um, that's unfortunate. But, you know, that it, that's basically a LARP to do it anyways. Um, there's definitely some things we can do with Bosnia, though. So it looks like, starting out, we have like the top row of every single law that we could have. Which is a blessing in some ways, but a curse in others. Obviously, being an ethnostate in the Balkans is not going to be good for us, especially as Bosnia. Because of over half of our population isn't even our ethnicity. Which means that we're going to get a ton of rebels. And the state religion. In, in, I mean, and plus we have a state religion. So that also means that we're gonna have more rebels from that. Um, this sucks, kind of. Looking at our money, it looks like, I don't know, we're probably halfway. You know, we're not too good, we're not too bad. Same with literacy. And it looks like we're average in standard of living, too. Um, I would say that this is like a middle-of-the-road start, actually. So, so obviously, step number one here is to get a coast. Being landlocked is probably one of the worst things you can be in this game. Because you can't access anybody else um, outside of the people you border. So I'd only be able to access you know, the, you know, the, these guys here. I'm thinking of conquering uh, Montenegro. Uh, they also are majority Serbian. And um, Serbians are uh, the majority in Bosnia. So I'm pretty sure that they won't hurt me too bad. This might hurt me though. Oh, actually, we, we are or Orthodox too, so that's good. Um, Yeah, it's much better than conquering Dalmatia here. Also, what's this name? Bosnian. <laughs> Bosnian GDP. That's that's something. Since we're in the Balkans, this is probably the best choice to make. Lucky us. All right. So we just um enacted national militia, and I'm actually starting to think the national militia is OP. We have so many uh, battalions we can actually raise now. And compared to, like, Serbians, uh, let, let's see what they actually enacted. They have a ton, I don't know why. Maybe there's more population down here? Not really. I don't know why it's like that. But anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is that I'm confident in... Oh, jeez. They have a ton of allies, apparently. God knows why. Let's see. I don't know why this is the case. Like, I don't know why they would side with them. Like, everyone should be neutral. Like, everybody just started improving relations. Let's see. Yeah, like, they haven't even improved relations with everybody yet. They'll side with them. That makes no sense. Um. Let's see. Maybe the best choice that is to actually go for um, Slavonia here. Because this guy can't reach him. And this guy's weak. So, I'm actually going to go for, Slo for uh, Slavonia here. And Bosnia expands. And just from taking uh, Slavonia here, we 
have like shot up in our rank to the 25th greatest power in the world. I'm pretty sure it won't be too difficult to become number one. All we really need to do is conquer probably like 10 provinces and we'll be the biggest in the world. So I'm not too worried about, you know, not becoming a great power. And I think I'm actually going to become friends with uh, Northern Serbia here. It's a lot better to have have this guy as an alliance than not and have to deal with him in wars constantly. So, yeah, I think that this is the better option. And I think it's time to take out our fellow Serbian friend here. That was easy. And this is for the best. So, unfortunately... It looks like conquering uh, Montenegro right now it probably isn't the best idea. All these people can reach uh, Montenegro. Well, if I conquer Dalmatia here, um, I'm not sure if uh, Lan Lancashire will actually show up. Um, I know that Skopje can't. Um, I think I'm just going to risk it and take over Dalmatia because of a coast is what we desperately need right now at this point, so I'm just going to go for it. Sweet, sweet coast. Alright, I, I think I'm actually going to go for this now. Alright, good stuff. And it looks like southern Serbia is right for the picking, so I'm going to go for them. Alright, here we go. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Especially with, um, actually I'm going to do this right now. Because of right now I'm trying to bankroll, um, Croatia. And, uh, Trans, uh, Trans Danubia here. Because I'm trying to make them, oh look at that, I can actually do it right now. So I'm obviously going to do this. You know, the bigger my customs union is, the better. And I'm just going to do this also. Um, nice. So let's see our customs union after they all join. Alright, so, yeah. L like, our market's massive now, since we just invited uh, our friends surrounding us here, so... Hopefully this means that they actually won't join any wars that I that I'm in too. Um, I'm not sure if that's how it works, but yeah, this is pretty good. All right, so lucky us, Croatia, um, asked to be in a defensive pact with us. In exchange, I got an obligation, which I think I'm gonna use to make them my protector. This way, you know. There's no chance that I'm actually breaking off from the customs union. So, yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm also trying to get an obligation from um, Trans Danubia here. So I can make them a protector too. But I haven't gotten it yet, so. Alright. So I'm actually pretty happy with my population right now. I have a ton of peasants that I can use. So I think I'm actually going to puppet Scopia here. Instead of uh, straight out conquering them. Alright, nice. Alright, time to add Albania to my collection. Nice. And I think it's finally time to deal with the uh, Montenegro here. This is probably going to be the most difficult war since I have so many people that can actually call in. 
but I think we should be okay. I'm like, yes, they actually backed down. This is good. Alright, so I think I'm actually going to end this video here. Due to one reason. And that's because of, even though I have a mod, in, a mod enabled right now that also makes the AI more ambitious. It looks like nothing is really happening on a large scale. We're 20 years into the game. And there's like only a few things I can notice that are different. Like... Uh, Kiev has this protectorate, and uh, Campania has um, taken over this state here. And I think that at this point we're unstoppable. Um, you know, because, because like no way I can even uh, step up to us. We're way too strong with the power base that we have right now. Um, I would say that we did the, the goal of... You know, creating Yugoslavia, even though we can't technically create it. Because of, um, our markets. We have, this guy is an, is an alliance. If I ended this alliance, I could probably easily make him a protectorate. Um, Croatia. And we also have uh, Transanubia here. Um, but yeah. If you want to see more Victoria 3 videos, uh, just let me know. And thank you for watching.